All right, you still have your thinking caps on? Good, because we still got to get through this. There's a lot to go, and, you know, mobilization is starting to play a key part in this. I mean, no one's going to move unless they're paid at least a uh, mobilization fee, right? No one's just going to sit there, rest on their laurels. I mean, if you're going to pay me to get up from my chair to go somewhere else and do this, then you're going to have to pay me a mobilization fee. So we got to get through this as soon as we can. So, you know, that check clears. I can't just keep collecting all these checks. I got a box full of checks that I haven't even cashed. I feel bad. Anyway, fabrication parts and using alternate units. Alternate units allows you to show mixed imperial and metric units within a single annotation. You can do this either to the right of the base dimension or below it. Just select one of the dimension strings and open its type properties to show the alternate units button below the dimension string. So you're going to edit type, and I've seen this with uh, AutoCAD. You can put inches if you want, right? Alternate units, 10 feet or 120 inches, right? Alternate units, boom. 123, uh, 1,235 millimeters. Uh, and it does the math. 34 feet or 100, 1,235 millimeters. 1,300 to 1,550. 1,300. I can't drive 55. So, yeah, you can actually set it to show, I believe. Um, yeah, alternate units, none. Alternate units, below. Hit apply, boom. And now... Not only is it, uh, well, the units are set to millimeters, right? They're set to millimeters. 34 feet is 10,363 millimeters. Let's check that again and see why the book is not giving us the right. Uh, no, 1,235 millimeters. I'm getting 10,000. Oh, well, units format. One foot, five and a quarter inches, 1,235 millimeters. Hold on a second. To the feet, no, 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 no. Press zero feet. Uh, yep, uh, 34 feet, uh, well, one foot five and a quarter. I don't have my calculator, but there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch, right? So you figure 2.54 centimeters times one is about two, four, four and uh, a, a, a half, right? So then you figure, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, they're on. Now, that being said, sounds about right. Good. That's pretty much it. Just says to show below the alternate units, below the dimension string. Let's explore how to use this tool. Can't slide it there. Okay, now. Um, continue, continuing from the previous exercise, select the dimension string B. And click the edit type button in the properties palette. Edit type button in the palette. You don't want all the dimensions to show both sets of units, so click the duplicate button and name the new dimension string linear 332nd inch aerial uh, IM linear hyphen 2.5 millimeter MI for the metric file. That's a lot of strings to type. That's okay. I have the patience of a saint. So then go duplicate type, and it wants to type as an linear aerial IM. Imperial metric, imperial slash, uh, oops, slash metric. And then in parenthesis, it wants us to type in linear. And it wants it not to be all cap, but I'm going to do it this way anyway. <laughs> millimeter. Except, except that that's not the proper way of doing a millimeter. So that's the proper way of doing a millimeter. Denotation. M slash I on parenthesis. In, for the metric file, in the duplicate. Let's take a look. All right. Um, now, there's almost this to be capitalized. Uh, five millimeters, M slash I. And I turned off my caps lock. Bear with me. Again, this is a, a multitask. M slash, M slash I. And I'm rushing just because I want to get this to you. I want to get it done because I have a lot of things I have to do. Um, okay. Now, hit OK, apply. Okay, so now these are still the old um, dimension style, right? So what we have to do is go back to here, go back to edit type, go back down here and turn this off. None. Apply. Okay. Okay. Go up to here. This one is now the new duplicate kind. Kind. Type, I should say. Did I say kind? I shouldn't, but I'm a kind guy. Now, in the same type properties dialog box, change alternate units set uh, to below. Set alternate units format to millimeters in the imperial file.
feet and fractional inches in the metric file. Hold on a second. In the same type properties dialog box. Change alternate units to be below. Alternate units format below. It doesn't say format. It just says alternate units. And that is very important to me. And then it says... Um, In the imperial file, set alternate units format to millimeters in the imperial file. Feet and fractional inch, inches in the metric file. So you now know the other number is a measurement in an alternate unit. In alternate unit suffix, add millimeters to the imperial file. The settings will look like the figure in 19.43. Okay, um, yeah, put millimeter here. That's what it's saying. Okay, so that's that. Now, close the dialog box. You'll see the dimension string with imperial units above and metric units below. Annotating with project and shared parameters. That's for another video. This is really starting to get serious, folks. Architecture is a serious business. And what does the passage say? What does the passage say about equality? Do we remember? Does anyone remember? Let me see a show of hands. If anyone remembers exactly how the passage went, it went that, remember, with great power comes great responsibility. I'm not a powerful man. I'm a weak link. Oof, still weeks.